What's good, A and B fam? It's your girl Asia. And it's your boy BJ. And, and we, we back, back like, like we, we never, never left. left. Thank you guys for tuning in for another episode. Uh we're gonna be jumping into a new TV series today. Yes. And um I think that, I think this should be really, really good. Yeah. Because we did a consensus and um and the Sopranos was highly, highly recommended to us for us to check it out. Yes, y'all. And y'all told us this actually this won our Patreon poll. This won the poll on when we did it in our live stream. We asked about mm -hmm. y'all's opinion as well, like the fam, okay? Everybody's yeah. part of the fam. If you go here. It was okay? a runner up. <laughs> and it was yeah. the runner up yeah. on both polls. So we had to jump into it. That is Absolutely. why we are here now. Yeah. Okay? And and the Sopranos, it actually started in nineteen ninety nine. Uh, and this is starring James Galdofini. Now, all the other actors, I'm pretty sure we'll learn them along the way. But I know that he's the, the starring actor uh, in this TV series. I'm not really sure who that is, though. But we shall figure it out. I, oh, yeah. oh, well, we watched the trailer. So, so I like the guy. You've seen I, his face. I've seen his face. I just don't James know who, who Yeah. Yes. I don't know who he is. So, I will say that much. So, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Tap into the Patreon, y'all. We have all of our unedited, uncut videos, as well as all of our TV series, including Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad, and now The Sopranos. Y'all, we just need y'all to pull up, <laughs> and we just need y'all to go on this ride with us. Yes, y'all. Which is so, The Sopranos. Make sure y'all tap in, and let's go ahead and jump into this video, y'all. I'm so excited. <laughs> Who was you see looking at? Oh, Betty, what is he thinking about? Looking at it. <laughs> Mr. Soprano? <laughs> soprano. We said Sopranos. Soprano. Sounds like he has an important Italian name. Where is he? He look like he don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> she like a teacher? My understanding from Dr. Cusimano is that you collapsed, possibly a panic attack? They said it was a panic attack. Of course, all the uh, blood work and the neurological work came back negative. You don't agree that you had a panic attack? <sighs> How are you feeling now? Good. Back at work. What line of work are you in? Waste management consultant. Is it voice management consultant? Waste management. Waste management consultant. It's impossible for me to talk to a psychiatrist. Oh. <laughs> So he's at the psychiatrist. The morning of the day I got sick, I've been thinking, it's good to be in something from the ground floor. But lately I'm getting the feeling that I came in at the end. The best is over. Did you have these feelings of loss more acutely in the hours before you collapsed? I don't know. A couple months before all this, these two wild ducks landed on my pool. They're from Canada or someplace, and it was mating season. <laughs> what is he doing? I wish I had time to do that to go and just feed ducks. Not in the pool. Yeah, in the pool. No. Meadow, your father with those ducks. I know. Taking barrels. Girls, you gotta <laughs> have more than just cranberry juice for breakfast. Him yeah, with those ducks. No. <laughs> so he infatuated with the ducks. Look, they're trying to fly. National Geographic. Yeah, that's right. Uh, That's just like our kids. We try to show them something. They're like, oh, God, yeah. Okay. That's great. That's great, Mom and Dad. You're going to be home tonight for Anthony Jr.'s birthday party, right? Birdman, hello? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll get home early from work. I'm not talking about work. This isn't going to work. I can't talk about my personal life. Finish <laughs> telling me about the day you collapsed. I drove to work with my nephew, Christopher. He's learning the business. Did you call, uh... What's his name down at Tribo Towers about the Holland contract? I was nauseous this morning. My mother told me I shouldn't even come in today. Bear in mind, this is a kid who just bought himself a $60,000 Lexus. Dang. Patterson. Christopher must be doing all right for himself. Hello. We saw this guy, and there was this issue of an outstanding loan. Can I stop you for a second? What you tell me here falls under doctor-patient confidentiality. Except if the patient comes to me and tells me a story where someone's going to get hurt, I'm supposed to go to the authorities. Technically. <laughs> Waste Nothing. management. We had coffee. Help! Help! Wait. Oh. Oh, oh. 
Kick him right there. That works every time. Uh oh. <laughs> Just because he took off like that, I know it's the problem. Because <laughs> he darted, he darted All out right. of there. Right. Look, look, look. look. He took off from my help. Oh, you look. You look like you did something wrong. No. Look, look. In the middle of the park. Oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> <laughs> look, look how he dodged in the tree. Bad luck, luck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> look like, look like he clipped him. <laughs> oh, hit him in the legs. You all right? <laughs> my money's broken. Let me see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking bow, you prick. Where's my fucking money? <laughs> Oh no! I thought he was a good guy. <laughs> Next, I had a breakfast meeting. Wow! I was called in to consult by a garbage hauling company I represent. Just call a sanitation. There's some kind of Czechoslovakian immigrants or some shit. He says if he could tell the commie bosses back in Czechoslovakia to go fuck themselves, he could fucking tell us. Oh! Fucking <laughs> garbage business. Yeah, I know. It's all changing. Let me see what I can do. Are you sure? You owe me your stomach ache. Yeah, I used to go to school with a guy named Artie Buko. The situation came up. It involves my uncle. I can't go into details on this one. That's fine. <laughs> my uncle adds to my general stress level. The word is your uncle Junior gonna whack Pussy Malanga. He's gonna yeah. do it at your friend Artie Buko's restaurant. <laughs> what is what does that got to do with me? That's my friend. That's his friend. He said he's gonna do it at his friend's restaurant. Oh, so he got to step in, huh? Don't move. Uncle Joe, how you doing? Hey. Hey. Good to see you. Here he is. Hey. Hardy. How's your rash? <laughs> it's itchy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it means for Arthur? One of these old mugs gets wet in here? Yeah. Doing his business. You better sit down with your uncle. Uncle Junior's my father's brother. Good guy, just getting old. <laughs> I love my uncle. At the same time, when I was young, he told my girl cousins I would never be a varsity athlete, and frankly, that was a tremendous blow to my self-esteem. <laughs> Aww. Hi, how are you? You locked the door after you? Yeah, I did. You know, somebody called here last night after dark. <laughs> it's dark outside. You're not going to answer the phone. Yeah, I can understand not going out after dark. He could jump in the shadows, whatever, but not answering the phone after dark? Oh, listen, tell me he knows everything. Remember Adi Buko? Oh, yeah, I still see his mother. She tells me he calls her every day. That's how she talks. Uncle June's gonna make a problem for Adi. Could affect his livelihood. What's that? CD player. For me? Yeah. I don't want it. Oh. Mine needs something to occupy your mind. When Dad died, you're gonna do all kinds of things. Oh, he was a saint. You're gonna travel. You've done nothing. Stop telling me how to live my life. You just shut up. I just worry about you. And That's don't a... start with that nursing home business. How many times do I gotta say this? It's a retirement community. You go places, you do you're things. Old. I've seen these women in these nursing homes. <laughs> you just speak to Uncle Junior about Arnie, okay? And I expect to see you tonight at Anthony Jr.'s birthday party with your baked ziti. Sure. Run off. This is mom. <laughs> She's acting a little grumpy. My wife invites the priest. He's always at the house. She's not coming. Who? Grandma just called. So what, no fucking ziti now? Hey! hey. <laughs> he worried about the baked ziti. <laughs> uh, so we not getting the food just like, just, just like a little fast fastball little kid. Where the baked ziti at? <laughs> that ziti must be pretty good now. Him and these ducks. They're entertaining. At first it felt like ginger ale in my like skull. his eyes about to cross. Oh, look. Is he having a heart? Oh, that's the lighter fluid on the fire. Oh, that's not good either. And he fell over. What's happening? What? Oh, this is what he was talking about. He passed out. Yeah. I'd rather say, look like he had a heart. He's about to have a stroke or something. I told Anthony Jr. we'd rain check his birthday. On his son's birthday, too. You think I got a brain tumor? Well, we're gonna find out. What a bedside manner. Very encouraging. And what, are you gonna not know? I had some good times. Here he goes now with the nostalgia. No marriage is perfect. 
Well, having that Kumar on the side helps. I told you I'm not seeing him anymore. How do you think I feel having that priest around all the time? Don't even go there, all right? He's helping me to be a better Catholic. Yeah. Catholic. Well, we all got different needs. What's different between you and me is you're going to hell when you die. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. The animosity. Why that? I mean, other than him running somebody over with a car. She said he had a little side piece. He said he not seen him no more. My nephew, Christopher, was handling the garbage contract problem. But on this, I will also not go into I detail. He don't want to tell no details. Was that a pizza shop or a meat? Uh, meat? Yeah, uh, now he. T this Christopher. We back to this Christopher. Christopher. That's his nephew. I look like, like a, little, a little butcher shop. Emil, cola. Chris, Maltesan. In Czech Republic, too, we love pork. You ever have our sausages? I thought the only sausages they had was Italian and Jimmy Dean's. See what you learn when you cross cultures and shit? You and I are the younger generation. We have issues in common. Where's the stuff? Oh. Taste the wares, Emil. Emil. Oh, now we get into the good stuff. Now we see what's going on. Oh, that's why Chris... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, that's a high he'll never forget. Oh, he wasted him. Why? Was that Al Capone? One of was Al Capone. Who do you think you are? I'm the person who says how things go. That's who I think I am. Hey, you kill him someplace else. You may run North Jersey, but you don't run your Uncle Junior. How many fucking hours did I spend playing catch with you? Uh. He <laughs> said, how many hours have I spent playing catch with you? Didn't you admit to Dr. Cusimano that you were feeling depressed? Uh, got him. <laughs> Maybe. Just a little bit. <laughs> it might have slipped out. Melfi. What part of the boot you from, hun? Dr. Melfi. My father's people were from Caserta. Avelino. My mother would have loved it if you and I got together. <laughs> uh, no, he didn't. No, he did not. Look how she looking. Mm -mm. She's like, okay. Whatever happened to Gary Cooper? <laughs> the strong, silent type. That was an American. Once they got Gary Cooper in touch with his feelings, then it's dysfunction this and dysfunction that and dysfunction my fungal. I had a semester and a half of college, so I understand therapy as a concept. But in my world, it does not go down. Do you feel depressed? Back to that question again. Just answer it. He just gave his whole runaround spiel of nothing. Since the ducks left. Oh. Oh. Let's talk about them. We're not trying to go down that. You know, trying to go down that lane. He loved them ducks. I need to go see a psychiatrist. I need, I need to talk about my issues. Anybody that gets depressed over losing ducks needs to see a psychiatrist. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that was cold blood. How he iced them. No. Look at this. <laughs> Look, I knew it wasn't gonna go. <laughs> Louis Brazzi sleeps with the fishes. Luca Brazzi. Luca. Whatever. There's differences, Christopher, okay? So what do you want to do? <laughs> he disappears. They know, but they don't know. They hope maybe he'll turn up. If. All I know. Come on. We need to go. We need to get him in that trash bin. Take him to Staten Island or cut him up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> why did he just slammed into that trash? Now I see why they're into waste management. What are they doing? Are they visiting that place where he wants his mom to go? This room was renovated last year. Those doors lead to our nursing unit. This is a nursing home. This is a residence. You don't know what she's saying, Ma. I, she I like, know these women in their wheelchairs. Ma. Barely, barely, please. Ma. You think you're so high and mighty, don't you? People Ma. come here to die. Uh -oh. oh, he did it again. And he did it right on cue. He passed that right on cue. Yeah. She said, this is where people come to die. He just fell over. He, got, so, he, need, to, he need to get that under control. Come back for help. <laughs> oh, he's back. <sighs> She's dressing. He's dressing him out. She has a stressful job. <laughs> now that my father's dead, he's a saint. When he was alive, nothing. My mother wore him down to a little nub. 
He was a squeaking little gerbil when he died. Quite a formidable maternal presence. I'm not getting any satisfaction from my work either. Why? Well, because of Rico. You see your brother? No. The Rico statutes? Oh, of course. Yeah. Right. You read the papers? The Rico Act. Used to be a guy got pinched, he took his prison job no matter what. Mm. Nowadays, no values. They guys ran. today have no room for the penal experience. So everybody turns government witness. Mm. I feel exhausted just talking about it. No one needs to suffer with feelings of exhaustion and depression. Here comes the Prozac. Hey, they just trying, they trying to get you out on the right track right now. <laughs> That's all. She's just trying to get to the root cause. What do you mean Mahavi Here. doesn't have the money? The man does not have the money. We ran the man over with the car. He's bled dry. Uh-oh, that's not good for him. He don't have the coins. I hear the junior wants to whack pussy bump in Seattle. Pussy Malanga. A little pussy. You think he's gonna fuck with big pussy? My pussy? <laughs> he's talking about the little one. Not, not the big one. Your uncle resents that you're the boss. Your friend, uh, Artie, with the restaurant. Get him out of town for three weeks. That way the restaurant closes, the hit has to go down someplace else. <laughs> you old fucking Jew. <laughs> no wonder my old man kept you around so long. So what about this fucking Jew's 250 on Mahaffey's 100? Let me give this Mahaffey a choice. He either has his company start paying out phony claims to fake clinics we set up, or he pays Hesh the 250 grand he owes him, which we know he cannot do. It's at 250K. Or it's a rainy night in Lindhurst. Very smart. Now I see why they ran him down with the car. Mm -hmm. 250K. Yeah, oh. Oh, I wish I had some of that in my, in my pantry. We ain't got none of those in our pantry, do we? No. Okay. <laughs> just, hey, just let me know. <laughs> Where's yours? I have too much homework. Matt, it's our little tradition. We always have so much fun. Tell you the truth, I felt it was dumb since I was eight. I just go because you like it. Nope. What's up with these kids? These dog on kids these days, y'all. Right, I thought up. this was something we would do long after you got married with girls of your own. Hopefully, I won't be living anywhere around here by then. <laughs> she called. Meadow, you can't just break the rules you don't like. What? You have something you want to say to me? Close my door, please. <laughs> Dang. She that close. <laughs> wow. She must got a lot of her father in her. Mr. Soprano. Mr. Soprano didn't show up? <clears throat> he didn't show up today. What, have them pay claims for MRIs that never happened? How do I not get caught? Come on, you're a smart guy. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of scam this is. I'm sorry I haven't paid you, Herman. I know you are. Hey, you want to go for walking the rocks? The crotches, I can't. Come on, it's beautiful out there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No. <laughs> Look at that. Look how far down it is. <laughs> Look how I just threw that. <laughs> you know I got hit by a car. Wait, was this a setup? Let's try it. What, what you were saying before with the MRIs. Oh, yeah, they, they yeah. took him out there like... You better get right. If you don't think we'll throw you over this bridge. <laughs> you better get right. <laughs> Dang. They are hard. Hey, they are definitely in the, in the waste management business. And look, he got the Prozac. Waste management. Yeah, we know what waste management is now. Yeah. <laughs> they, got... they into managing the waste of uh, right. uh, uh, the rats, the snakes, and, uh, and the people in debt. This is unacceptable. I had an 8 o'clock reservation I made two weeks ago. Sir, as I explained, there are five parties ahead of you. So, what would you like me to tell you? Why don't we just go to another restaurant? I know. Is that uh? Mr. Soprano, how you doing? Doctor Melfi. How you doing? Yeah. As a matter of fact. Tony. Hey. Tony, where are you going? How are you? Good. You come here? When possible. Those decorated tips you gave me—they really work. Good. How you doing? <laughs> Do you know who that was? Well, I mean, obviously you do. What, what, is he a patient? You know I can't say. <laughs> Decorating tips. Yeah, right. Niels, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Mr. Borglund, they're setting up your table right now. <laughs> okay. We, we know. <laughs> How does he know? 
Mr. Soprano, though. I know there is something more intimate between you and her. Nothing intimate. We just talk. That's not his wife, is it? I don't think. They got uh -uh. Some, that's a. Oh, oh no, they got jump offs. That's a little jump off side piece. I think that's his wife. Yeah. Okay, I was just making sure. You've been in good spirits the last couple days. Yeah, cause my jump off kept me happy. You think that's what it is? Something I gotta <laughs> confess. <laughs> oh, might... see, he gotta confess. What are you doing? Getting my wine in position to throw in your damn face. Uh -oh. You're always with the drama. Go ahead and confess already, please. Get it over with. I've been seeing a therapist. Oh my God, I think that's great. I think that's so wonderful. I think that's so gutsy. What do you think? I was Hannibal Lecture before or something. I just think it's great. He doesn't address the soul. That's something else. But this is this is a start. This is something. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up now. She said, she's talking about his soul. The wrong person finds out about this and I get a steel jacket and after the person right in the back of the head. Why does he feel like it's such a big deal to tell her that though? If he got pro if he's Dad. I brought you my Primavera. It's your favorite. Who is it? Christopher. <laughs> oh. Sometimes confused with fellow reputed mobster Big Pussy Bomb and Cero, oh. just So it's going to go down soon. But don't not... worry about it. I got a way to put it right to bed. Go, 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 Let's go. So, uh, when do you need this body? Right away. I think I can get a party like that together. Oh, I used to love volleyball. Played that every year I could. Yeah. <laughs> Since we started athletics. I wish I could have seen you play volleyball. Them little volleyball shorts and stuff. See, I knew you was going there. <laughs> oh. Oh. What happened there? That, that that's the uh, the restaurant. Yeah, but wasn't that the restaurant that Christopher shot the guy? In? Oh. oh! I know I heard something like. Nope, nope, it wasn't that. It wasn't. It wasn't that. <laughs> it's not the medication. Prozac takes several weeks to build up effective levels in the blood. Oh. Well, what is it then? Coming here, talking. Getting it out of your system. Yeah. Well, who's got time for that? <laughs> Anybody got time for that? He better make time. I had a dream last night. My belly button was a uh, Phillips head screw. And when I get it unscrewed, my penis falls off. Okay. I didn't expect that. Why? I pick it up and I'm holding it and I'm running around. And, and this bird swoops down, grabs it in its beak, and flies off with it. <laughs> Got you looking. And so... What kind of bird? I don't know. Was it a seagull duck? or something? What else is a water bird? A duck. <laughs> what about ducks? <laughs> what is it's up with the ducks? ducks? What is it about those ducks that meant so much to That's you? What I'm Good question. Oh, uh oh, you've been a crack. Oh, it was just a wild creatures come into my pool and have their little babies. <laughs> Look, she had a grin like a. I was sad to see him go. Oh, Jesus, fuck, now he's gonna cry. Oh. The baby ducks? He letting it out now, he letting it out. Man, he can't be crying over ducks. You never know. When the ducks gave birth to those babies, it became a family. You're right, that's the link. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my family. I think I lost the ducks. Aww. What are you so afraid is going to happen? I don't know. Okay, he, he let it out a little bit. See your life's dream burned down. Look at it this way, you collect the insurance, that's all. It could have been worse. Yeah. How could it have been worse? Suppose people stop coming to the restaurant, you ever think of that? Oh, I got it, I got it. He's right about that, there's no insurance for that. That's but why right. would people stop coming to the restaurant? It's just starting to catch on. Know what I'm figuring out lately? Talking helps. That's right. That's right, he's right. <coughs> come on. Oh, look. Buddy, come on. Hey. He getting emotional about that restaurant, I think. Hey, look at me. I'll always help you. Come on. Come on. <laughs> go, go cook. So that's why they blew it up, so he could collect the insurance, insurance money. Yeah. Like, okay. 
Enough of this shit. What's wrong with you? You know, my cousin Gregory's girlfriend is a development girl out in Hollywood. She said I could sell my life story, make fucking millions. I didn't do that. I stuck it out with you. I can fucking kill you. What are you gonna do? Go Henry Hill on me now? You know how many mobsters are selling screenplays and screwing everything up? You forget those distractions. We got work to do. New avenues. Come on. <laughs> Look, it's a beautiful day. What could be bad? Uh -oh. It's nice of you to pick me up for the party. At least somebody cares about me. These kids today. Well, if his father was still alive, he'd show more decency and respect for his mother. I'm not free to run my business like I want. Oh, isn't that awful? Plus, he thumbs his nose at New York. Oh, He's part of a whole generation. A generation. And I'll tell you something else. Things are down all across the board. A lot of friends of ours are complaining. So the beard is on his way out. Something may have to be done, Livia, about Tony. Yeah, hey, look, he waiting for her to say something. There they are. Hey, Ma, Uncle Jew. You're using mesquite. That makes the sausage taste peculiar. Carmela, my mother's here. Everybody, let's eat! You know he really barbecuing when he outside with no socks on, with church shoes on. <laughs> right. Got the uncle vibes going. The beast in me. I thought the bird. I thought the. I thought the I ducks. Thought they were too. I thought the ducks were about to come back. <laughs> they didn't come back yet. I did they didn't come back yet. I thought they were straight up and to come out them trees. <clears throat> John Gotti, life in prison, no chance of parole. What's the situation on the ground today? Confusion, instability. What caused the decline? Your sister's ass. Government policy over two decades to behead the crime families. So, cheer me up, babe. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Huh? Zappuccino, Zappuccino. Former soldier in the Genovese family, government witness turned best-selling author. Arthur? The party's over. Witness? He is a wise guy. Please elaborate. <laughs> well, you know the heyday, you know the golden age? That's gone. He said it's over. Because people are ratting. You're always going to have organized crime. As long as the human being has certain appetites, someone's always going to surface to serve these needs. This is when I thought I was out. They pulled me back in. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Sorry, something about the game. Something I was going to pull you back in. It's, 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 it's like a magnet. <laughs> something, it's something. Oh, look, the trade, uh, the it's World hard. Trade Center. Yeah. So I think so I think that most of them they're they're in Jersey. So they it's like they run Jersey, I think. Are they in Jersey or Baltimore? Jersey. Okay. They definitely had an East Coast accent for mm -hmm. sure. All of them. <laughs> Elizabeth, New York. So a, a, a lot of it is them being in Jersey and then probably New York too. Blue moon in your eyes. I like the intro. I do too. Somebody remix that. Remix that too. Uh oh, is that the waste management truck? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, definitely that's waste management. <laughs> you got DVD plays in back? Don't hurt me, man. Step down, nice and easy. Come on. Hey, quick and painless. The nephew, he for real about it. My boss is gonna think I'm in on it. I need this job. There's no way I could walk away unscathed. <laughs> you wanna be scathed? Yes, yeah, so it looks like I didn't give up without a struggle. Oh, so he wanna get beat up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, thank you, man. That's it. That's all I need. And he said thank you. <laughs> he need, yeah, he need a few more bruises. <laughs> a few more scrapes. Scathed. 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 <laughs> he said scathed. 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 Yeah, he, he, can't, he can't go in unscathed. <laughs> My science teacher, he got his car stolen. You're kidding. Did you hear what Anthony Jr. just said? Mr. Miller's car got stolen. He just bought that car a year ago. Oh, insurance will pay. They don't give full value. Maybe you could help find it. What are you getting in science? D plus. See what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. <laughs> this must be like the, the meeting spot. It's a pretty nice meetup spot. 
They got you got to have a, like a nice little place to meet up where hey. you can actually have, like talk talk business. Not with all of the distractions. I don't see no distractions in there. <laughs> I just see a lot. I just see a lot of motivation. <laughs> you need you need to you need to be quiet. My attorney told me the picture's not that different from the lazy reader, Paul. But the sound, way improved. Good. There's nothing beats popping up some other Redenbachers and listening to Men in Black, you know? Are those real DVDs that's in there? They must be. Why can't you be nice to Brendan? We discussed that. Oh, I was just going to come look at it. It's the guy. For you, Serge. Take it over there. Oh, right next to the DJ speaker. Serge. You press hold when you transfer a call. I'm sorry, Tony. Friend's a good earner, T. Yeah, he's a good kid, but I don't like that methamphetamine. Oh. Hello? Hello, Ma. Oh, look who calls. I was wondering when you were going to call. Well, you can stop wondering now. This is it. I'm calling you. I called you yesterday, remember? You're supposed to call me back? I phoned your house. Some operator answered the phone. I couldn't understand a word she was saying. Yeah, that's not an operator. That's an answering machine. Oh, <laughs> What's that in the background? Fancy. Something burning. The mushroom. What's that? Burning. I smell it too. What is that? Oh my God. Ma. Ma. <laughs> Get the water. Get the water. <laughs> she moved too slow. <laughs> no. I was like, what is that? Oh, oh she put the... <laughs> it had grease in the... it. That had grease? The, the mushrooms, they're on fire. Oh, my God. Hurry the up. The getting all black. <laughs> Get the fire extinguisher. <laughs> Tom, the guy's on the second line. You press hold. God damn it. Listen, Ma, I can't come over. I'm 40 minutes away. You look at how I live. Uh... Ma, hang up and call 911. Oh, my. You can't put water on a grease fire. Oh. <laughs> she... I'm glad you told me that. Camilla, my mother's got a fire in the kitchen. Oh my god. Can you get over there, please? Yeah, I'm on my way. Search. Oh, she got Search. a his mom got a really emergency going. Oh, listen, I can't talk to you right now. Uh, I, I gotta go to an outside line. Give me your number. All right, I'll call you back. Is your mom okay? This shit cannot go on like this. See, that's that's why he don't need to conduct business where he's at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please don't tell me that it's bad though. I wish you would let me get somebody in here to help you. You shouldn't be alone. Help me what? You need company. Now don't start with that nursing home business again. It is a retirement community. <laughs> you know, you can always come and live with us. I know when I'm not wanted. Oh. I don't know if she needs to move in with Tony. I don't either. He was a saint. She keeps saying that. He was a saint. That son of mine, is he still having those fits? They're not fits, Ma. They're anxiety attacks. Uh. You know, he's on medication. Shop on Wat Chong Avenue said some guys brought in a sad and these plates trying to load it for parts. Are you telling everybody this fucking cost for Tony Soprano? Yeah, sure. It's for the kids teaching. <laughs> My guy said that one of those goofballs had a uniform on from, um, uh, butt fucks. The, the the coffee shop. I guess the guy works there. From what? The coffee shop. What what was the name of it? Bart's? What? Oh, I didn't catch it. Fucking espresso, cappuccino. We invented this shit. And all these other cocksuckers are getting rich on it. All our food. Pizza, calzone, buffalo mozzarella, <laughs> olive oil. They ate pootsie before we gave them the gift of our cuisine. <laughs> Shoot, they're making money in there. So she finally agreed to have somebody come in days. They sent over this Trinidadian woman. But no matter what I do, I feel guilty. Why? Because you did. You set it up. <laughs> so you're carrying all this guilt. There are some people who are not ideal candidates for parenthood. Come on. She's an old sweetie pie. What were some of the uh, good experiences you remember as a child? The loving, warm ones. Do, 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 do. Well, one time we were down to the uh, shore, and the whole family. My father, he, he tripped and he fell down the stairs, and we were all laughing. <laughs> the whole family was laughing. My mother. 
I bet, I bet his mama was laughing at that. Any other <laughs> loving experiences? Loving hey, experiences. She's a good woman. I'm the ungrateful fuck because I come here and I complain about her and I let my wife exclude her from my home. Oh. I think she's not being honest about. Yeah, no, because she just invited her to the house. <laughs> That's not going to work. How you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Olivia, your son is here. Uh, listen, in the hours you're here taking care of my mother, no ganja, okay? She said no ganja. I'm not dead, unfortunately. You want me to put them on the dining room table, Olivia? Make sure the bottom of that vase isn't wet. She's stealing. That beautiful plate, it's gone. She seems like a nice person. She doesn't fool me for a second. Sure you didn't give it to one of the relatives? You keep forcing your possessions on people, thinking you're gonna die. I wish it was tomorrow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Jackie, you're the boss. Tell him to leave Conley trucking alone. Hey, Chris didn't know going in. Bullshit. You are my DVD player? You can watch Grumpy Old Men. You're gonna be a fucking funny boy too now, huh? Hey, you Sopranos. Uh-oh. Jackie, you got a ruler? It's just like some Italian gangsters. Kids gangsters. that truck, they make restitution to Junior. It's done. Sitting outside talking business. Jack me. how you feeling? I may be acting boss, but will somebody tell my bowels because they don't obey? And a fucking chemo. Maybe I should name a successor. This day and age? Who wants the fucking job? I'll see you soon. Satriales. Hey, Mikey, that's the boy. What boy is that, Tony? The one you sleep with. Oh. oh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding you. How you doing? I'm all right. You all right? You all right? You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll see you later. <laughs> Look, he like, I don't like you. They don't like each other, I don't think. <laughs> Guy fit in the description does work in this here branch. Him and his gay lover both work here. And I got the address. Paul, are you listening to me? Yeah. Can we go find these Spice Girls already and get this over with? No, no. Look. no. Oh, spiteful self. He'd be probably staring at, staring at that thing for like 20 minutes. Man, I can never walk out of some place with something that big. <laughs> Am I joking? Oh. What happened? E even she ain't it's taking me. it. Did you say something to she her? She ran her off. These blacks. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. His mom is good at what she do. <laughs> she ran her off. And she said, mm -hmm. I, I bet she only been there less than a week. I don't know what I did. She probably didn't even make a week. <laughs> I know she didn't. Restitution, okay, but you know how much you want, your uncle? Hey, you got the wrong truck. That's what happened. I'm not gonna pay it. Oh, yeah? By what I did on the Triborough Tower situation, I should have been made right then, boom. You know, you got a reputation for immaturity, and it's not gonna be improved by not paying the tributes the acting boss demands. Oh, come on, everybody knows you really run things since Jackie became the chemo sabi. <laughs> Open the fucking door. Oh, they're gonna... Oh. That's a classic way to kick somebody out. That's what you call a chicken head. You right. <laughs> Gave that man the boot. All right, fuck it. Something about him having that money in his hands, I don't know. Look. Ah. Look, he hit his head. Uh -oh. oh, just uh -oh. like just like some c contract hit me. Hey. Uh, Mr. Arnaz. What do you want? You seen a school teacher satin around here? Come here. Anybody else hit Desi? Eddie, I'm ready. Yep. Here comes Lucy now. People are always late. <laughs> Eddie, you are lying. <laughs> what? We ain't saying shit until there's an attorney present. Make a statement. Oh, fucking Johnny Cochran right here for you. Oh. I, mean, I, I remember he brought them up. They were talking about him, but I don't know why they are there, though. Get over here. They brought him over to the body shop. Fucking car's been chopped. Fucking useless now. Let me tell you what's going to happen here. One of you stays with us while the other goes out on the street and boosts another satin. <laughs> look how slow she's driving. Oh, look, look how she's look. turning the corner. I cannot. <laughs> All in the grass. <laughs> Pull up oh, in the no. green machine. She cannot come over here. <laughs> Thanks. 
on the steering column. Oops. Oh, what about the other woman? <laughs> Hip. <laughs> so messed oh my up. My gosh. They're saying that she shouldn't live alone anymore. She shouldn't. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> I would agree with that. We were looking at Green Grove. It's more like a, a hotel at Cap Dantib. She needs to be made to see that, in fact, she's embarking on a rewarding chapter. I know seniors who are inspired and inspiring. Not forgetting about us, right, buddy? Kenny Portugal said say hello. Oh, yeah, Kenny. Still not getting in. Back up. It's for Sazy. Good evening. Marty! Kundun! I liked it. So my boy at Comley said there's a truckload of Italian suits. He says shipment moves Thursday, 6 a.m. <laughs> Give me one good reason I should not jack this truck. It's Junior's own fault. He gives us no choice except to do it again. Fuck Tony. Hmm. That, I think they're going to jack that truck. I think so, too. Go, go and get yourself some more. No, I'm full. You never let me feed you. You know my good jewelry? The stuff Dad gave you. Sincom doesn't want it. Not now. I gave it all to your cousin Josephine. What the fuck? The good jewelry? <laughs> she always admired it. Listen to me now. Oh, he hot now. Before you do any more serious damage, you, you're gonna stop living alone right now. I'm not going to that nursing home. The retirement community. And it's more like a hotel at Captain Teebs. <laughs> Who's he? The Captain owns luxury hotels or something. I don't know. That's not the point. She's got a corner suite available with a woods view, but it's gonna go fast. What a woods of course view. it's available. Somebody died. Oh, my... <laughs> <laughs> she is off the chain. <laughs> You know, I know seniors that are inspired. <laughs> oh. This is horrible. This is a horrible situation right now because his mom is not going anywhere. She is not budging. I'm taking a pass. What? It's Italian suits, Christopher. Maybe one reason why things are so fucked up in the organization is guys running off, not listening to middle management. Fuck Tony. That's a quote. We have to stick together. Why be in a crew? Why be a gangster? Hmm. Hey, coach, suck my dick. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna go get this truck. We got 45 minutes. Hey, yo, we need some help over here. What they got in there? He said they got Italian suits. Hurry up. Yo, chill. I'm gonna take my lunch, okay? What happened? In broad daylight. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh. Hold on, what's in the bag, though? <laughs> He can't drive it. He don't know what he doing. Oh! Oh, y'all yeah, gotta get out of there. Full. Oh, he got hit! Oh, fuck! Fuck! It just turned into all, from armed robbery to murder. Fuck! Look, and they, look, look, they take now, it out. Pick the gun up! You shouldn't have went. You excited about coming to live with us, son? <laughs> You got your own bed, and your dresser. <laughs> look, she got a stone cold look on her face right now. Col tempo la folia, di gelso diventa senta. Look at her. <laughs> look at her face. I'm not trying to hear nothing. What does that mean, Bonnie? Time and patience change the mulberry leaf to silk. That don't mean nothing to me. <laughs> She's not feeling it at all. She looking. I'm surprised she didn't say nothing. I'm glad she didn't say nothing. Why she just didn't pick to go to the house? Yeah, better been better. It's Christopher. Yeah, Christ, I've been calling for hours. Give me a call back on an outside line. Look, got to that payphone quick. Uh oh, he's not gonna be happy. Uh uh. T, don't get mad. Nah, I have nothing to do with it. Just so you spit it out. Brendan hit calmly again. He what? And uh. Uh, the driver, you know. No, I don't know. He caught some friendly fire or something, and uh, he's gone. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Oh, that's not good. And it happened in broad daylight. Right. They killed the driver. It probably wouldn't have been as bad if they just if they just robbed him. Right. Well, they were trying to do that. <laughs> yeah, they tried. <laughs> that's what they were trying to do. 
But that's why that's why the nephew didn't go though. But what had happened was <laughs> the idiot got out of the truck. You boys, I'll tell you. And drop the gun. It's beautiful stuff though. Oh. Tone, I'm so sorry. Shut up. Tone, part of it's the crank. You know, but I'm going into the detox. Brendan, shut the fuck up. You wanna get me clipped? Oh. <laughs> What you're gonna do is you're gonna take these suits, you're gonna put them back in the truck, and you're gonna give them back. And then you're gonna call my uncle and you're gonna tell him when it's done. Well, if this didn't go back, it'd be a problem. You know, I don't see you assholes putting that rack and that rack and this rack here back in the truck. <laughs> sure, I need one of them little snazzy look them, look suits, though. Look. Yeah. They like, let me look real quick before they. <laughs> I need one of them coats, though. Before they take this one. Can I get a 36, is though? Is this my size? <laughs> And there it was. It's right in my parking spot. My Uncle Pussy helped my dad locate it. <laughs> no, Uncle Pussy? <laughs> I mean, thanks, of course. Nice and clean, too. <laughs> Whoa, different keys. Is he a size teacher? It's a different color. Whoa. Oh. Oh. And my dad's a hero. <laughs> wow. He knows that he painted it. That's probably not, that's probably not even his car. Oh, that's his mom. That's his mom's house. Yeah. Oh, the memories. Oh, look at her smiling. Wow, look at that. <clears throat> what is going on? Did you actually lose consciousness like with the ducks? No. Just uh, a shortness of breath. And the white spots in my field of vision. Improvement. She'll be in very good hands. You've done the best for her. She won't speak to me. That is sad. But whose choice is that? Well, somehow that doesn't make it any better. It's hard to admit that you might have feelings of hatred towards your own mother. You're out of your tree. Listen to me carefully. Of course you love her. You know? It needs to be acknowledged. It's a good thing time is up. Get it out. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Hate your mother. Yeah, he's not ready to cross that bridge just yet. It's very easy to trigger him about certain things. Yeah, he bring up his mama. <laughs> he bring his mama up. He gonna go. He gonna yeah. go haywire. It's mama and the ducks. <laughs> and the ducks. Is that an operator or an answering machine? Hello. 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 <laughs> oh. Right, cracked him on the head. The phone, because he couldn't work the phone right. So he got irritated with him. Yeah, okay. Look at them. <laughs> but 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 again, the anger. Just like just like his psychiatrist was just talking about the anger. Right. <laughs> okay what you thinking right now what i'm thinking right now i'm thinking that tony soprano right now he's going through uh what you would call a, a mid-life crisis i'd agree his dad yeah. is uh, his dad is already gone his dad's yeah. passed on and so you know now he just, now he just has his mom and it's like you know I, I think he feels like a little guilt because you know maybe he can't beat up for his mom the way that he wants to and then just dealing with like a lot of things from like the past, probably like how his mom is, because you know she always says that you know his dad was a saint, saint but yeah. even though he even though he chooses to say that his dad isn't a saint, she always says that, that, he that he's a saint. But but really, she, she she was the real bulldog in the house, I believe. But why do you think that she keeps like? So you think because he's gone, she's the that's the reason why she's so upset and depressed and. Like acting the way that she is is because of of the husband. I think so because you know he he, he even was trying trying to tell her like to get out of the house and start doing stuff and, and like now is your time to live and she's like no I'm ready to die in like five minutes can I just go ahead and go right now? Aww. You know so he dealing with that right so now that's too. Stressing him out number one yeah. and then everything that he has going on because everything from, with the business. I legit at first thought he was the real waste management person. <laughs> oh, they really into waste management. <laughs> But then I started figuring out what the waste management was. He is not a part of the waste man. He do not work he for waste is. man. He do not work for waste management. Okay, not that company. Okay, they mm -mm, no. He he don't have no resume for them. He is he, he's the lead coordinator. 
a coordinator. Okay. He's the managerial boss. The dispatch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's part of the dispatch. He's part of the cleanup crew. In other words, he's the CFO. Babe. <laughs> you, call, you call it whatever you want to call it. Okay. No, but it started out, I'm not going to lie, it started out a little bit slow, like kind of just kind of how I, I think it was more so them trying to introduce the characters and stuff like that, trying to get you acclimated with like everybody because he started talking about his nephew, his uncle, what who plays what. But then they also kind of gave you an insight to more of his actual character because it seems like he is very impulsive in, in terms mm. of people on money to him. If you, you know, if you don't stay straightforward with him if you don't do what he asks you to do you see how he he acts like he reacts like that you know yeah. even with going to his therapist it seems like she sets him off in certain ways obviously like it just takes certain things certain questions that she asks for him to react a certain type of way so i feel like we got a really good feel of like everybody's character the, the wife seems to be like she seems to be somewhat like a, of a nourishing type of mother. She cares. You know, she's yeah. there for the kids and stuff. We've seen the daughter, mm -hmm. the son, you know, like yeah. everybody has like, and it's crazy because they all have these like odd characteristics about them where I feel like some kind of way would, would contribute to keeping things interesting. But he's also like the father. Like it seems like he's still like, there for his kids and stuff, you know. He's there well, for his my, mom. He's yeah. a family man. Yeah, he's a family man, but I still feel like he still misses out misses out on a lot of things because he because yeah. he's doing like a lot of running around. So I don't know. Maybe he feels a little bit of guilt towards that too. Maybe because he's not able to be the father that he wants to be because he's he's in the house and then he's gone. Yeah. And but my thing is, I'm, I'm trying to see a little bit more as far as like the, the actual business as far as what they're running because like now we are we, we kind of getting like a like a, a like a good glimpse. Uh, of the inner workings of the underworld right. as far as like how they make their money, how mm -hmm. they make their their business run. What, um, but the wife even like knows even, that what even he's like doing, the store though. even like the the storefronts as far as like the, the businesses that they have. Okay, you know? yeah. I was gonna say the wife knows Yeah she, she, know she, she knows what's up. Yeah she knows what's up. Okay. Yeah she knows what's up. I, yeah she knows what's up. Okay. If, if, if she if she's in the pantry <laughs> opening up Money, the Campbell's rolls, money. super can. And she, she, right. she already know like. But like, maybe what's that could be, on. you know, stuff from his businesses and stuff. And she like, should my man get money? You yeah. know, I'm gonna keep it in the soup she, can. Yeah, but she been, she probably been down with him for a very long time. <laughs> you know, since the I'm beginning, playing, since the beginning of the beginning. Yeah, but, probably. You but, probably right about that. But I'm really, I'm really like wondering, like, because he's saying they're saying that the business is on a decline as far as things that's going on. That was the reason why he took out that. That other company, so that he can get the insurance money from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, he know what he needs to do to get money. Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. he just he just need to stay on the right path. We gonna we just gonna see how this kind of unfolds though, because you know how this always turns out. Yeah, because it, it goes on for so long before right, and, before they and, start getting on your trail. And, and and then you know, a couple of people already got whacked already. Right. So. Right. You know, they already, I don't even know what the body count is. I mean, previously to what we've seen. Yeah. But so far, it's like two or three people already got knocked off. And then and now they're robbing the trucks and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's real dicey as far as like, like you said, like like the, the legalities and the illegal organization that they have going yes. on. But, hey, like like I said, I'm not the one that's going to put their business out there like that. But You're just going to wait for it. I'm just going to wait and see how, see how, it, all, <laughs> how it all pans out. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Right now, from what I from what I see, that they they got a a um a pretty a pretty good business going on right now. Yeah, yeah, they do, they do. So I don't know. I don't know. I we don't gotta know. stay tuned, y'all. So this is just the first two episodes. Yeah. We probably haven't even seen the half yet. Okay? They just got like, they just got to top they loose ends and, and, and keep everything clean. They can't be doing all this stuff in broad daylight. Yeah, but Tony don't play that. Okay. <laughs> not homie but Tony okay yeah. Tony don't play that yeah and like you said these first two episodes we got like a real good idea to see who Tony Soprano is to see his wife his kids his mother yeah uh, just er kind of everybody uh, in the crew and kind of see how everybody's kind of operating right now so right. even like the nephew so yeah this is this is getting pretty know. good so far the nephew got me kind of he, he on the fence it seemed like at any moment he could be like forget Tony but at the same time, he's trying to work with him at the same time. Now, I, I think he, for right now, from what I see, I think he pretty low, and, and he definitely, like, is an enforcer. He puts in, like, the dirty work, for sure. Okay, we're going to see, y'all. Okay? so Y'all tap in. Tap in, okay? And if y'all enjoyed this, 
Be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. Mm. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you, and we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Absolutely. Oh, bye.